Robert Dria Tijana Galara Wiki Moko Barka da Hansi da Gana Sashang Hausa na BBC. To Achkin Shuran Zakuji, Majalisar Inkin Dunia Tachi, the Telling Arzik in Afghanistan, and Parpadu Ashikari, be the Taliban Titan American Gasar, America Kuata, Nuna Damwa, Kampujiri, or Kapa Gasar Palace, in the Prime Minister in Israel, who come to Kwana Kwana and Nigeria, Tabo, Mutani Shawar at Okamata Kankadia, Domun Kauchi, Gobara, I want to look at China Hunturu. Kuai Sama Makanshi, Ilimun Kasha Gobara, Kumitan, Jina Uran, Abuji, you was Abu Buar, that's Jenny Parwan Gobara. Kara, I join one. Abu the Red Deli, Amanta, the Shi, or Ilabauta, a Dow, the Wooting Isamia, Sanadia Karwango Bara. A chick about a search and cope and I hear Africa the Kigudana, Ivory Coast. I also a Kichi Rainy's a canon Senegal may cope in the Kumajam Huria Kamaru. Asani Wanda gets Kias humans and get into Umbashiba, Kumize Yahua, Motoka Mukaida, Russian Nasara, one Nawasa, Togaska Arukuniza, Yetchim, Dubada, Zamu Bugawasada, Senegal, Wada, Taki, Rikeda, one no cope. Sama bar mu fara da labaran duniya kafin rahotanni. Majalisar dinkin duniya ta yi nasari kan shekaru biyun da Taliban ta yi tana jarra gamar Afghanistan inda ta ce tattalin arziki kasar ya fara farfaduwa sai dai ba kamar yadda ake bukata ba. Shirin ci gaba na majalisar dinkin duniya ya gano bukatar da ake da ita na farfado da bankuna da ma'aikatun gwamnati ta janyo masu zuba jari wani lamari da ake ganin kamar da wuya. Har wayo majalisar dinkin duniya ta nuna damuwa kan halin da matan Afghanistan ke ciki na rashin yanci. Hukumar kuwa ta ce kashi shida cikin 100 na matan kasar ne kadai ke ayyukan yi tun bayan karbe ikon Taliban da cewa da ya tallafin kasashen waje sun taimaka Afghanistan din domin magance yunwa to amma har yanzu a gajin bai kai matakin ayyababa Gwamnatin Amurka ta yi kakkausar suka ga matakin Prime Minister Netanyahu na bujirewa shirin samar da kasar Palestine to be sounding those words at a time when clearly the Americans When kill and BBC a che put a can I did a look at Chinda Gara America Kiko Garan Sama de Gasar Palace Inu by and come Malay Iking. Yanuna Amerika Nasa come we are can tab but in the Tabewa Gasa Shell Lara Bow and a Samar de Hakang. Miss Anatanyaho de Yakari Matakin de Chiwa Israela and Abagata Matabata does a Yanki Yamadaga or Kuikin Jordan. Zuagar Gashing Equanta. So with a car up and deep para I and Zuya Saka of Kuanangaba. Shukaba Joe Biden ya kafe cewa sojin Amurka za su ci gaba da kai harare ta sama kan dan tawayen Houthi a Yemen. Mako guda bayan fara kaddamar da harin a birnin Sana da kuma Hudaida. Mr. Biden din ya amince wa tambayar yan jarida kan gazawar su na dakatar da harharan da Houthi ke kai wa jiragen ruwan da kwankaya a tekun Maliya. Amurka kuwa ta ce yan Houthi sun harba makamai masu linzami biyu kan tanka kasar ta da ke tafiya a tekun na Maliya. Mayakan Houthi dai sun fara kaddamar da harharan ne tun watan Nuwambar a matsayin nuna goyen baya ga Palestinawa a Gaza wanda Isra'ila ke yaka to labaran nasu a muku ne daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC Zanga zangar kin jinin gwamnati da aka ya kasar Haiti ta janyo tsayawa lamura a babban birnin kasar Port-au-Prince masu zanga zangar dai sun toshe hanyoyi inda suka yi amfani da motoci da kunnunin tayoyi da kuma manyan duwatsu da suke bukatar Prime Minister Ariel Henry ya sauka daga mukami wani mai zanga zanga Leonard Jean Reynold ya ce dole Prime Minister ya sauka daga mulki la base 3 ans à Yela la pour y a qui n'a pas il est dans Yache shekaru uku na yar yayin amulki an yi taka shakashe da satar mutane mutanen Haiti su hadu domin su kauda mulkin sa Korea ta arewa ta sananta gwajin makamin nuclear na karkashin kasa maikata tsaron Korea ta arewa ta ce an yi gwajin ne ta gabar yammacin tekun kasar kafar yadda labaran gwamnati kuwa ta ce wannan martani ne kan atisayen sojin ruwa na hadin guyuwa da Amurka da Korea ta kudu suka yi amakon nan an ambata wani babban jami'in sojin Korea ta arewar na cewa atisayen babban baraza na ce ga tsaron Korea ta arewar to karshen labaran duniyar kenan Oh, my.
Muhammad Allah sai kuma rahoton ni shugaba Joe Biden ya kafe cewa sojin Amurka za su ci gaba da kai hare hare ta sama kan yan tawayen Houthi da suke Yemen mako guda bayan fara kaddamar da harin a birnin Sana da kuma Hudaida Mr Biden dai ya amince wa tambayar yan jarida kan gazawar su na dakatar da hare hare da Houthi ke kai wa jiragen ruwan da kwan kaya a tekun Maliya ga rahoton Umay Masani Abdul Mumin Amurka dai ta ce ba yaki suke yi da mayakan Houthi a Yemen ba duk da karuwar hare hare da masayar wuta a tekun Baharum a wani tare manema labare a Washington mataimakin sakataren ya da labare ta ma'aikatar tsaro ta Pentagon Sabrina Singh ta ce Amurka tana kai harin ni domin kare jiragen yan kasuwa da ke da kwan kaya we don't seek war we don't think that we are ba mun yi mai yaki ba kuma ba ma ganin ma muna cikin yanayin ne yaki ba ma fatan ganin yaki ma ya ga wuti ne yake kai hare hare ba kamai masu linzami kan jiragen da babu ruwan su na yan kasuwa da kawai hanya suka biyo domin isalan kunnen da suka dusa wannan hanya ce da ake hada hadar kaso 50 cikin 100 na kasuwanci a duniya abin da muke yi da abokan mu shine kare kai kafin wannan lokaci sojojin Amurka sun sanar da jerin hare hare a Karo na biyar da suka kai kan Houthi a lokacin da yake magana da yan jarida a lokacin shiga cikin jirgin soji mai magana da yawo majalisar tsaro Jan Kebi ya ce hare hare su na lalata makaman da Houthi ke amfani da su wajen lalata jiragen ruwa yace na san kana da rahotanni da ke magana kan irin hare haren da muke kaiwa domin lalata ci biyun da Houthi ke a jira makamai masu linzami da suke harbawa kan teku mun saki kai hari a safiya yau burin mu shine ci gaba da lalata wadannan makami saboda da su ake kai hare hare kan jiragen ruwa a Baharum tun a wata nuwamba mayakan nan Houthi suka soma kai wadannan hare hare wanda ke a matsayin martini kan yaki da Isra'ila ta kaddamar kan Hamas a Gaza rahoton da Umi Masani Abdul Mumin ta hada mana kenan ko wadannan rahotannin ne daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC yanzu kuma sai Nigeria inda hukumar sadarwa ta kasar ta baiwa kamfanonin sadarwa na Glo da kuma MTN wa adun kwanaki 21 ya sasanta kan su kan takaddumar bashin da ke tsakanin su shugaban hukumar ta NCC Dr Amina Maida shine ya bayyana haka a hirar da suka yi da Umar Shehu El Leman sai ya so ma bayani ne kan muhimmancin adana bayani a katin dan kasa wato nin to gaskiya wannan ba sabuwar abu ce ba abu ne da an fara tun lokacin gwamnatin Buhari kuma dalilin da aka ce a yi shine dan mu tabbatar cewa shi wannan ne dan kaga ai ba ko namba waya ka kada aka ce ka hada da shi ba ko bibi an na kama na bank account din ka su ma suna tambaya a badanin ko waya ka je kai ana cewa a badanin to shi amfanin cewa kowa namban shi a samu hadata da nin shi ne zai iya samu koda an samu wani matsala ko na taddanci ko sata ko wani abu in mun san cewa ga namban na muna iya tracking mun san cewa to ga through wannan nin din mun san cewa ga mutumin kuma ka san shi shanin tsaro ba abu ne da ake fitowa a ai ta fada ba ko ana sawa a jarida ke sa akwai wani abu da yake faruwa an sabo bayan cewa a wato a katse harkokin bin gudun da tsakanin Glo da kuma MTN wanda ya sa mutane mafiya wato kuma amfani da wani abu cikin damuwa sosai shin wani matsayi ke zo to yanzu wannan abu ba wai dan an ce ayi ne ba dan a sa mutane cikin damuwa amma gana ce ta business tsakanin MTN da Glo in ka kira akwai abin da ake ce mai interconnect idan mutum yana kan MTN ya kira Glo akwai kudin da ya kamata uh, MTN ta ba Glo kuma su ma haka idan abin da Glo ya kira MTN akwai kudin da ya kamata bada to a samu a daidaita a san cewa waki bin wani shine aka samu matsala kuma wannan uh, mun commission mun kira su tun September a shekara da ta wuce mun zanar da su su san yadda za su yi siri konsile amma ba samu an yi konsile ba to a bisa doka shi wanda ya kawo mana evidence ya nuna cewa ana bin shi kuma a ba biya shi ba kuma ya ce a biya shi 
sai mu diba mu gani sai muka ce to tunda babu ya ku ba doka ta ce kuna iya kuna iya yanke layoyin su to amma ba abin da muke so ba kenan so sai muka kira su muka zannanta su aka kara magana to shine aka samu hadin kai yanzu kuma mun ba su shiya kwana 21 su je su zanna su kara tattaunawa kuma su samu a resolving wannan issue kuma insha Allah za a yi kuma mun commission za mu ba su duk supporting da suke nema Dr. Aminu Maida kenan shugaban hukumar sadarwa ta kasa wato NCC a Nigeria. To nan gaba yau ne kuma ake sarun kotun kolin Nigeria za ta yanke hukunci kan zaben gwamnatin jihohin Ogun da Rivers da Taraba da kuma Nasarawa. Tun dai a farkon makon nan ne dai kotun kolin ta saurare bangaren masu kara da wadanda suke karar. Ga Khalifa Shehu Dukaji da karin bayani. Da alama da itin bayan da kotun kolin Nigeria ta saurare bangaren masu kara da wadda ake kara. Al'umar jihohin Nasarawa da Rivers da Taraba da Ogun ke nuna zakuwar su wajen jin hukuncin da kotun za ta yi kan batun. Cikin jihohin da ake ganin hukuncin shar'a da zai fi daukar hankali dai shine jihar Nasarawa inda dan takarar jam'iyyar PDP David Umbugadu da jam'iyyar sa ke kara gwamnatin jihar Abdullahi Sule. Umbugadu dai na zargin gwamnatin jihar Abdullahi Sule na jam'iyyar APC da rashin cancantar shiga ta kara gwamnatin jihar ta Nasarawa saboda zargin cin hanci da rashawa ke yake da shi a ofishin hukumar yaki da cin hanci da rashawa ta EFCC da kuma zargin tafka magudi a yayin zaben inda kuma kotun daukaka karar a rana 23 ga watan Nuwambar shekara ta 2023 ta dawowa da AA Sule Nasara wanda hakan yasa David Umbugadu da jam'iyyar sa ta PDP garzayawa kotun koli Mr Mike Omeri da yane daga cikin ƴan kwamitin gudanarwa na jam'iyyar PDP a jihar ta Nasarawa ya bayyana min fatan su a zaman da za a yi Lai mu sun shirya da kuma sai mu zauna mu jira a rai na su alkalin kotun koli domin a wurin su sun san kan ka dukan kan lura kwanakin nan su yin kokari sun gigyara a babai dewa ko kula kula da aka yi a kwato ba dil so mun tabbata kamar yadda aka aka gyara na wayansu kamar Kano da Plato da da sauran su dewa to haka ma za a gyara namu a dalci muke neba a yi abin da ya kamata wanda ya ci a bashi abin sa Ali Bello shine shugaban jam'iyyar APC a jihar ta Nasarawa shi ma ya bayyana min karfin gwiwa da sake da shi eh karfin gwiwa mu shine doka saboda haka mu ba mu da wani damuwa mun dogara ga Allah muna tare da doka saboda abu su ko ba da wasu hujoji babbara da ya kamata a ce an ba su wannan zabe ba duk yadda hukuncin ta joya mu yi hakuri mu rungume kaddara mu yarda cewa Allah ne yake ba da mulki haka zalika dai a goban ne dai ake saran kotun kolin ta Najeriya za ta yanke hukunci kan zaben jihar Rivers inda jam'iya mai mulki a Najeriya ta baiwa tsohon gwamnatin jihar Nation muke minister a watalin da suka gabata an ga yadda tsamin dangantaka ya kama ri tsakanin gwamnatin jihar Semina Lefubara na mai gidansa Nation muke tai tsami wanda masu lura da alamar ranyo da kullum ke ganin akwai yuwar hukuncin shar'ar ya dauki hankali ganin karar na tsakanin jam'iyyar APC da dan takarta na gwamnati Mr. Tanyi Kor suka dauka sai kuma jahar gogon inda jam'iyyar PDP da dan takarta Honorable Oladi Popo a Debutu ke kalubalan ta nasarar gwamnatin jahar Dopun a Biodun na jam'iyyar APC sannan sai jahar Taraba inda dan takarar jam'iyyar NNPP Professor Sani Haya da jam'iyyar sa ke kalubalan ta nasarar gwamnatin jahar Agbo Kefas na jam'iyyar PDP bisa zargin tafka magudi Khalifa Shehu Dokaji sashin Hausa na BBC a Abuja Nigeria to da haka akwai kuyi kawo mu karfe 8:17 a Abuja Nigeria da Jamhuriyar Niger har ma da Jamhuriyar Cameroon bakwai kenan suramin 17 a unguwar koko milo-milo dake birnin Accra a kasar Ghana shirin hantsin na zuwa muku ne daga nan sashin Hausa na BBC a farkon shirin kungiyoyi cewa majalisar dinkin duniya ta ce ta talan arzikin Afghanistan ya dan farfado a shekaru biyu da Taliban ta ta Najeriya ga markasar akwai labaran kasuwanci da na ta talan arziki amma bari mu fara da batun gobara a Najeriya yanda aka shiga cikin yanayi na hunturu 
hukumar mun kwana kwana na ci gaba da jawo hankulan jama'a kan irin matakan da ya kamata su dauka domin kaucewa abkuwar tashin gobara a gidaje da kuma kasuwanni a lokuta da dama dai jama'a kan tafka din bin asara na dukiyoyi sakamakon tashin gobara inda a wasu lokutan ma har takan kai ga asara raika da cikatar mutane Yusuf Tijani ya tattauna da komandan hukumar kashe gobara ta jihar Kaduna mai kula da shi ya ta biyu Aliyu Abubakar wato Aliyu Umar wana lokaci da muke ciki lokaci ne na munturu kuma lokacin munturu ne lokaci ne da yake zuwa da bushashiyar iska take zuwa da karfin gaske babban al'amari da ya shafi gobara shine ka ta faru amma idan ta faru a irin wannan lokaci da akwai iska mai karfin gaske irin wannan definitely za ta zo da abin da ba za a so ya kasance ba na daya dai kowa banda tsarin da gwamnati ta yi na samar da fire service na taje ta kashe gobara kowa ya sama makanshi ilimin kashe gobara kuma ya tanaji na uran daya kenan na biyu a guji yin wasu abubuwar za su janyo faruwan gobara kar a jona wani abu da dare a manta da shi wato ila ba wuta a dawo da wutan ya zama sanadiyar faruwan gobara mutane kar su dinga ta tanajan petr musamman wannan lokacin da muke ciki da kudin petr bai tsaya waje daya ba wani sai ya tanaji petr ya tara shi a office din shi ko kuma nan gurin gurin sana'a daga wani dan abu kesi ya zo sai ya zama gobara so mutane kowa ya dawo cikin haicin shi ya zama yayi abin da ya kamata a zo offices din mu a zo a nemi shawarorin mu wajen gudanar da wasu abubuwa da kuma yadda mutun zai kara kanshi amma galibi ko rafin da wasu mutane ke yi shine idan aka samu afkon gobara mutane kan yi dari dari cewa jami'an ku ko an gaya musu ba za su so da wuri ba ko kuma ko da sun zo sai ba kayan aiki wani lokacin ma ko da sun zo ba su da kwarewar da ake bukata domin a kashe gobara wannan ba haka bane magana ta gaskiya shine jami'an mu gwamnati na daukan nauyin mu ta tura mu training mu je mu fahimci duk abin da ya kamata mu sani na magana kashe gobara to amma ka san shi dan adam ba za ka raba shi da koke koke kan kokarin ka ba wannan babu wanda zai fita daga wannan saboda haka ni dai abin da nake so in tabbatar mana idan kayan mu na lafiya ma'aikatan mu na lafiya aka san da mu akan lokaci gobara in Allah ya yadda ba za ta girma ta haddasa wannan irin bannan dukiya ba wadanne irin matsaloli ne galibi idan aka sanar da ku cewa ga gobara ke kawo muku cikas wajen iya kashe wannan gobara wannan gaskiya yana daya daga cikin matsalolin da muke fuskanta a abin da ya shafi kai dauki wajen maganar kashe gobara so da yawa musamman ma bari mu besin magana na akan maganar kasuwanni kan za ka samu kalubale na kai wa ga urin da gobaran ma take za ka samu wasu saboda tsoron kada gobaran ta zo sun fafito da kayayyaki sun tattare mana hanya kuma dama already kasuwan akwai attachment da yake nan na biyu akwai wanda suke zuwa wannan guri na gobara idan aka ce ya ta faru da niyya daban-daban wani yana zuwa ne dan ya sata to ba zai so kuma shi da ya zo sata bai samu daman yin satan nan dole ne ya gafara mu da muka zo aike ba mu da mai aiki karshen ta sai ka jin ba ma so ba ma so ji fa in ka duba gilasoshin motocin mu da za ka fita nan za ka ga mafi yawancin motocin mu duk suna da cracks na tsatsage wan ji ba je ba na mutane kuma wannan lokaci ma gurin jifan ai kai ga an sa an yi abin ya shafi lafiyar ma'aikatan mu amma ina tabbatar maka despite wannan challenges din muna kokarin mu muna kuma yin abin da ya kamata muna nan akan haka kuma zamu kasance akan haka Aliyu Umar kenan komandar hukumar kwana kwana a jihar Kaduna to gwamnatin jihar Jigawa wato gwamnatin jihar Jigawa ta sanar da dakatar da shugabannin shirin noman rani na fadama daga aiki nan take a kwanakin bayan ne wani hoton bidiyon gwamnatin jihar Jigawa Malam Umar Namadi yana yi wa wani ma'aikacin fada wato wato yana yi wa ma'aikaci fada cewa sai sun biya wasu kudari da ake zargin sun karkatar da su ya karade shafukan sa da zamanta Sagir Musa Ahmed shine commissioner yar labari na jihar Jigawa kuma yayi wasara dillawal karin bayani bayi ga wannan bayani na mai girma gwamna committee ya zo ya kafa committee na inquiry wanda wannan committee ya zaga ya ya samu rahoto a rahoton kuma an kawo shi ga majalisar zatarwa ta jihar Jigawa preliminary report da ya zo ma a gwamnatin jihar Jigawa gargashin majalisar zatarwa wato rahoton farko rahoton farko da ya zo ma majalisar zatarwa ta jihar Jigawa ya ba majalisar dama dan dakatar da shugaban da yake kula da wannan shiri na Fadama wanda JKS result area 2 na Fadama a jihar Jigawa kuma kasancewa kwai coordinators da ake kira tax officers a kowace karamar hukuma su ma masu zazzartarwa ta sahale dan dakatar da su kamar me da me da me suka gano 
har aka dauki matakin cewa an dakatar da su akwai abubuwa da suka shafi ina kayan gona da aka bada kamar iri da sauran su da taki da sauran su akwai kuma abin da shafi aiki na maganar da samu da hanyoyi ga wadaran da ake noma da sauran su da kuma kamar ginari joyin bursa tsayi dan bada ruwa domin noma rani da sauran su abubuwa dai da dama wanda binciken ya zo a report wanda ba zan so in warware komai ba har sai rahoton yaje ya dawo gaban majalisar zatar ba kana cewa an dakatar da su kuma gwamna a wancan bidiyo da yake yawo yana cewa wallahi duk wanda ya ci wannan kudin na shirin fada masu yada da shi ina batun kudin shine nake gaya maka yanzu duk wannan rahoto da ake tunda a yaron rahoto yanzu gaban committee duk wani wanda ka sani cewa akwai kudi da ya shiga hannun shi dan wannan aikin ko wani wanda aka ba kwangila bai yi kwangila ba ko ba ga mata kuma an bada kudin shine committee ya zauna ya zo da rahoto rahoton nan kuma aka bada shi a committee na white paper da zai zo da implementation modalities ne da yanda za a aiwatar da shawarwarin yadda za a dawo da kudaden zuwa yaushe za a tsara wanda da a dawo da wadannan kudaden to su ne kuma za su dawo da kudaden ko koya za a yi a to nake ganin shi wannan committee da aka bada na white paper nake ganin wa'addin shi bai fi sati bi ba zai je aiki kuma ya dawo ma da majalisar zatarwa da suka ke rahoto akan yadda za a yi dan dawo da duk wani abu da ya kamata Sagir Musa Ahmed ke nan commissioner ya da labarai na Jahar Jigawa to yanzu kuma ga Bilkis babin gida dauke da labaran kasuwanci da na tattalin arziki yanayin yadda Najeriya ke samar da danyen mai ya karu zuwa ganguna miliyan 1.41 a kowace rana a cikin watan Disamba shekarar 2023 a cikin rawani rahoton kungiyar kasashe masu arzikin man Peter Opic a wani rahoton ta na wata wata akan kasuwar danyen mai ta duniya daga ranar 17 ga watan Janairu shekarar 2024 A cikin watan Disamba ne dai kamfanin mai na Najeriya NNPC ya bayyana shirin sa na samar da gangunar danyen mai miliyan 2 a kowace rana a shekarar 2024. Har layar kungiyar ta OPEC ta bayyana sashen ta dake cewa za a samu gagar marbun kasa a bukatar danyen mai a duniya a shekarar 2024. Kana ta ce shekarar 2025 za ta shede matukar bun kasa a bangaren amfani da man inda kasar China da yankin gabas ta tsakiya za su kasance kan gaba. Kamfanin hakar danyen mai na Shell ya musanta shashi fadin da ake cewa zai ke daga Najeriya bayan sayar da kadarorin sa na bakin teku a yankin Naja Delta Shell din ya shida wasu kafafan ya da labaran kasar cewa ya ci mai rjejeniyar sayar da kadarorin man nasa a yankin Naja Delta ga kamfanin makamashi na Renaissance Africa Energy inda yace zai mayar da hankalin sa ne kawai wajen kasuwancin zuba jari a Najeriya an sake haramta wa kamfanin Apple sayar da biyu daga cikin samfuran agogunan sa a Amurka a yayin da ake ci gaba da takaddamar shari'a a kai a bayan dai an amince wa kamfanin na Apple sayar da agogunan sa masu samfuran series ayin da ultra 2 a yayin da ake kan gudanar da shari'ar amma kuma tuni kotun daukar kara ta amurka ta mayar da hannun agogo baya game da matakin a ji alhamis ne dai kamfanin na apple yace zai saki agogunan nasa a kasuwa ba tare da suna dauke da wasu siffofin da ke auna adadin iska shaka ta oxygen da ke cikin jini da ake takaddama a kai ba a cikin watan oktoba bara ne hukumar kula da cinikayyar kasa da kasa ta amurka ta amince da cewa kamfanin na apple ya saba wasu dokokin kasuwanci a gaida bulke su baban gida sai kuma labaran wasanni ga Umar Mikail Gasar kofin kasashen Afirka za ta dora daga inda ta tsaya bayan wasannin hamayya da aka buga a jihar Alhamis inda za a buga wasa uku zagaye na biyu a cikin rukuni za a fara da wasa daya a rukuni na biyu tsakanin Cape Verde da Mozambique Sauran fafatawa biyu kuma a rukuni na uku za a yi tatabur za ne tsakanin Senegal da Cameroon sai kuma na gini da Gambia wasan Senegal da Cameroon zai ja hankalin masu bibiyar kwallo inda za a ke cire ni tsakanin Taranga Lions mai rike da kofin na Afcon da ta lashi a Cameroon da kuma Indomitable Lions mai biyar a tarihi to ko yaya wasan hamayya tsakanin Senegal da Cameroon ga Muhammad Abdul da karin bayani Dogar Senegal ta fara gasar kofin Afirka na bana da kafar dama a wasan farko a cikin rukuni na uku da cin Gambia uku ba ko daya ranar litina filin wasa na Conan Bani kuma ka yanzu ba a doke Taranga Lions ba a wasa biyar baya da ta buga ba a dukkan fafatawa ba da changers daya kuma har yanzu kwallo bai shiga ragarta batun dai ba ko daya da Algeria ta yi nasara a cikin watan Satumba a kanta ita kuwa taukar Cameroon ta fara da kunnan doki daya da daya da gina Afcon kenan maki daya ne da ita wasa daya 
da indomitable lion ta changer uku a karawa uku baya kenan a dukkan fafatawa da cin wasa bi da gogoma da changer biyar da rashin nasara uku ciki har da wanda Senegal ta yi nasara a kanta da shi daya mai ban haushi a cikin watan Oktoban 2023 to mai magana a dalmomi ne daga nan yankin garo a jamhuriyar Kamaru Allah ya giga wasan da Kamaru za ta buga wasa ne mai matukar hatsari ga mu yan Kamaru duba da zamu buga wasa da Senegal wanda take rike da wannan kofin a sane wanda gaskiya sai mun zage dan tsaye in ba shi ba komai zai iya faruwa matukar muka yi rashin nasara a wannan wasa to gaskiya a rukuni za a iya cire mu mai magana malam Sofiano wannan wasan yana da hatsari ga Kamaru sosai gan duba da wancan wasan da ta buga ba ta yi winin ba wannan ta na bukatan winin amma gaskiya Kamaru tana da kaluba da gaban ta saboda manyan yan wasan ta ba sa iya buga bol saboda sakamakon ciwon da tsaroni da suke da shi to duk dai ba abin da zamu ce muna neman nasara Allah ya dora mu bisa kansu wasu mu goya bayan Kamaru kenan tawakar Super Eagles ta Nigeria ta dauki hanyar kai waza gaye na biyu a jiya bayan ta doke mai masaukin baki Ivory Coast da ci daya mai ban haushi captain din tawakar Trus Ekong ne ya ci kwallon da ya tilo a bugun finality abin da yasa Nigeria ta koma ta biyu a table rukuni na farko a kasan Equatorial Guinea wanda ita kuma ta tasa gini bi sau da ci hudu da biyu Alhaji Jamil Umar Gwasta commissioner matasa da wasanni ne a jihar Sokoto kuma yana cikin mutanen da muka kallo a san tare da su kan kallo wasan da muka buga ta baya mu yi kokari sosai mun samu chances a ci ne kawai ba mu yi ba ta tashi kunnan doki yanzu kuma za a ga cewa yan wasan sun kara fiye da wasan da sun kai ta fari sannan kuma in ka duba irin bencin waɗanda ma a ji waɗanda ma ba a sawo ba za ka san da cewa insha Allah Nigeria tana da tana kan nasara kuma da yadda ubangiji ko shi zai zo Nigeria to shi ma Alhaji Bashir Jantili ya bayyana yadda ya ga wasan wasan gaskiya bai yadda ya kamata a ganshi haka ba saboda idan kula su Nigeria wato su shigo wasanni ba da cikakken fahimta junawa inda yake an samu ci gaba a wasan fiye da wasan da suka yi na farko idan kula yau za ga yan bayan wato defense din kamar ba su da wani confidence inda ya kamata sannan na biyu su mu defense din na farko in ka ba su ban sai su bai da abin baya sannan ba sa feeding ba to ba sa ba wasu yan gaban ban da ta kamata musamman ga wallan shi Victor Osem ya zama shine striker kuma shine midfielder sai ya sauko da kasama ya zo ya kai kubal din a gurin a tsakiya sannan ko ya koma da ita wannan ta sa ya gaji sosai a ciki a gefe guda kuma tsohon dan wasan Super Eagles sana Haruna Kaita ya jinjina wa kwazan da yan wasan tawagar suka nuna yana mai cewa hakan zai karawa magoya baya kwarun guiwa su kuma a gaskiya wasa ya yi kyau kamar yadda ya kamata kasancewa kudiguwa su ne masu masaukin baki kuma muka samu nasara a kan su wannan wato zai kara yan kwallon mu kwazo kuma hada yan kwallo kuma zai ba mu damar shiga wasan gaba cikin nasara domin wasan gaba shine zai tantance wato zuwa mako na gaba so ina gani idan muka ci gaba da haka za mu samu abin da muke so idan ka kula wasan yayi wahala sosai kasancewan su kodi buwar din suna da suna da masu rike kwallo kamar yadda ya kamata kwallon mu sun yi iyayen su kuma sinyo kwa zo a cikin wannan wasa muna mutukar farin ciki har wa yau ajiyan ne kuma tawagar black stars ta gana ta tashi wasa biyu da biyu da masar a wasan rukuni na biyu wanda ya kara jefa tawagogin biyu cikin rudani yanzu da yake bad ce ta daya a rukunin mai maki uku sai masar mai biye mata da maki biyu Mozambique da Ghana kuma a mataki na uku da na hudu da maki daidai kafin wasan da ke bad din za ta buga da Mozambique a yau to a sauran labarin wasanni kuma kungiyar Atletico Madrid ta doke Real Madrid a wasan Hamayya da ci hudu da biyu kuma ta yi waje da ita daga gasar Copa del Rey ta kasar Spain ya zagaye na 16 an tashi wasa biyu da biyu kuma aka tafi karin lokaci na minti 30 inda anan ne kuma Rodrigo Colme da Griezmann suka ci wa Atletico kwallo biyu bayan biyun da Lino da Morata suka ci mata tun da farko hakan ta sa aka bushe wasan ba tare da bugun fanareti ba Thank
Kaida Umar Mikael de la Baron was sent to Pilumanara, Edi Gana, Dereno, Zamata Tonani, a combatant of Barbary words, a Ruda Satan Mutani, a Nigeria. The Patan Zaku Kasanchi, the Muka made the Kosaba, a repeat of the Rebia, Koga, Nigeria, da Niger. To Ia Abendeso, a Kenang, a chicken, Shiran Sukuma, the Musalan, a repeat of Koga, Nigeria, the Niger, Saku Musaka, a Shirumana Hans, Watu Narana. Kada Kumanta Zaku, so Ramata Internet, a BBC, Hausa.com. A mother Jung Umema Sani, a blue woman that had. Shirun, Ahmad Wakili Sadani Doku, Badria Tijani, Alara Wiki, Mukubaka, the Juma, the Kanan Sashang Hausa, and I BBC.